All right, guys. This is the go with technical analysis of Allies Pro, and in this video, I'll discuss about crude oil. Right? This is a crude oil 15 minute time frame. And uh, before I start this video, I'm gonna give an announcement. I'm uh, going to analyze every evening. Like here, I'm analyzing in the morning, right? And in my another YouTube channel, I'm going to analyze every evening. Most of the time market are sensing at that time, right? So that is why I was thinking to create another uh, like a video for you, right? So uh, in that case, if market are changing, so suddenly I'll create a video and I'll inform you that market trying to change right now so we can close your position, right? And that is why I'll create every, uh, every evening, right? So you just uh, go to description and you just uh, subscribe my another channel so i'm not going to put here an evening so i'll put in different youtube channel morning i'll uh, and i'll i'll analyze here and evening that will be another channel and in that channel i will explain how to invest for the long term like uh, who people are most of the people are asking me how can i invest uh, for the long term and they are asking me if I bought some company like I bought, they bought like two year or three year ago some somewhere I don't know exactly. Uh, still the price is uh, falling down. So I'll show you how to choose uh, stocks for the long term investment. So already I explained about the Tata Motor. You just uh, visit there and just uh, subscribe my channel for daily notification, right? And every day I'll analyze for you. So please you just uh, go there in my description you will find my YouTube channel and the uh, first uh, top uh, other YouTube channel you just visit there and subscribe that channel. So I am analyzing for you right. So now you can see uh, this is a 15 minute time frame. So I told if price break here so we can go for sell right. So our target was somewhere here and again I given a sell here. So yesterday I think yeah. So here was our sell entry and our target was here around one. Oh sorry, three eight five two. This is our target, right? So now can I go for sell after breaking this level? So because in my previous video I told if they break this level, start selling, right? I think you remember. Uh, if they break this level start selling from this area right and the target will be somewhere here and if price goes there break this level can i go for sell again but my recommend i'm not going to sell again right so most of the people are thinking why why i'm not going to sell because in the crude oil i have seen this is the last point not exactly last point strong support are there I'm expecting the price will give a correction from this area but who people are like uh, some people are aggressive trader like me right so I'm not uh, <laughs> sorry I'm not uh, advising to trade you right because this is a downtrend and this is a it is called if I enter here this is called counter trading right uh, counter trading means trading against trend right trend is down I'm trading against trade that means I'm going buy right so I bought here I took profit and I closed up 30 uh, 20 30 points only because I have seen this is a perfect candlestick pattern here and exactly they are forming other where above this supporting line that is why right so why I told I'm not going to enter here for the sell right I'll I'll show you Let's check in the daily time frame. What we have seen here. So let me show you more. What we have seen here. We have seen very strong support are forming out there. Right? Alright. So let's check it historical data. We have seen this is support out there. Resistant, resistant, resistant. They are testing. Three day daily. Uh, I'm using daily time, right? Three day they're trying to break this level. Next, fourth, 
feet right and uh, after breaking this they are forming support support and here so much support right now you can see and later you can see here and now you can see support 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 many supports are there support right so what is indicating they're indicating that very strong support are there where in that area right in that area i have seen very strong support so that is why if they break this level i'm not going to sell why because there is a strong support are there if they break this support line we must go sell but i'm not going why i'll, I'll show you we have seen a range are there i think you remember in my previous video why i'm find the some range are there have you seen right now so now you can see we have seen a range are there right this is called range supporting range now we are not using supporting line we are using supporting range that is the most important most of the people are thinking hey price broke this supporting lines and they will fail again because every time after breaking this supporting line price is failing toward the next support right so now we have seen this is called range so i'm not interested to enter in this range yeah definitely if they break this range i will start selling below from this area all right we have seen again price is pushing down toward this range and boom pushing down boom right boom bouncing from this range so i'm not interested to again sell in this area because according to previous data right that is why i told i'm not going for sell in this area right and yesterday i think you remember we have seen this is a evening star candlestick pattern who people are following me i think they remember and i told and i drawn here 3979 uh, this is our evening star pattern and uh, here is a low last point and if they break this level we can start selling and the target will be 3852 right so now i'm talking about this one i'm not going to sell now which one is that can I uh, can we go for buy again that is the most important thing if I'm not able to uh, like enter in a sell direction can I go for buy so I'll show you where is our buy entry right so let's check it and a four hour time frame now four hour time frame we have seen um, they broke this 200 exponential moving average what is the market behavior most of the time when like 200 exponential moving average ema right ema suppose this is ema 200 or whatever okay so this one and price was there like that once they break this 200 moving average so again price push down toward this uh, 200 moving average right we have seen that is a big down the high probability to push up toward this uh, support now it's acting as a resistance now question is that we can go for buy up to till that area answer is that not now right why i'll show you okay let me explain here now we have seen a candlestick pattern here also you just guess it what candlestick pattern we have seen you just calculate this candlestick pattern and this one not now uh, this one right this one just calculate two candlestick pattern. what pattern are forming right now patch call bullish harami pattern i think you remember it is almost opposite to engulfing pattern right engulfing pattern is a small candle uh, left hand side and the right hand side will be a large candle it is called engulfing pattern and engulfed by this candle fully previous day candle right our previous hour candle right now 
it is opposite this is a large candle and now we have seen a uh, like a small candle inside this large candle so this is called bullish around this is a japanese word and i don't want to explain everything if you want to know about details you just visit our and iq page and i am explaining uh, what is the behavior it's a japanese word some uh, pregnant women are there like this is a uh, like a baby are inside right uh, this is a woman this is a stomach or you can say like belly and this is a baby it's a forming like that this is called bullish uh, it's a harami pattern right so it is a japanese word right so we have seen this type of candle are forming what is the logic behind there with the break this level so definitely we'll go for buy that means our buy and buy will be there right let me draw a trend line out there right this is called no trade edge most of the trader are entering in this area they can control their emotion right they don't try to lose that point that is called fear of missing out that is a psychological factor that that's called fear of missing out uh, most of the people just counting like that from this point to this point we have seen 80 point are there why i miss that 80 point when they are going to catch that 80 point they are losing their money because they don't have a trading system they have uh, like a basic rule for entry and exit because they are entering anywhere right they are entering anywhere they don't have uh, entry and exit rule right you must have an entry and exit rule what is the entry and exit rule right now now we have seen below this zone right this zone i i'm not interested to enter below this zone i'll start selling and above i'll little more aggressive data but remember you are going to trade in a counter right trend is down right now in a small time frame and we are going to enter for the buy that is little more risky and always keep yourself very tight and always do the money management right so we have seen our entry point let's check in a small time frame like a 15 minute now what we have seen we have seen like that uh, here our entry for the buy when they will break this harami pattern and our target will be there and let's check it what is our target here somewhere buy entry and somewhere i think 30 40 point it is enough for one day right so okay now we have seen here was our uh, bullish harami pattern right there was breakout point if they break this level we will start buying and the target will be somewhere here right so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and again i just uh, telling you just go there in my description and subscribe my channel for the evening analysis thanks for watching